Hello everybody, today I'm doing a super easy and mostly quick um, vintage 1940s style. It's really, really easy, it's really cute, it works with most hair types, and instead of using a curling iron, a curling wand, or um, rollers, which I usually use, I'm actually using a flat iron. And a lot of you guys have asked me if you can do vintage styles with a flat iron, and I thought that it couldn't be done, but I thought that I would try the undertaking to see, and lo and behold, it can be done. So I am using this um, Numi Vintage flat iron and I t turn it on and then I turn it all the way to the highest setting because you want it super hot to be able to really get those curls in your hair. So um, Numi is super awesome and they have given me some discount codes for you guys. So if you go to Numi and you are checking out use Cherry120 and that'll get you $120 off of all of their sets. Or you can use Cherry 115 and that will get you $115 off of all of their um, singles, like the wands and the flat irons and stuff like that. And also the links um, are in the description below to the Numi site, as well as the um, checkout codes for the discounts. So anyways, I'm really excited about this style. It's really similar to kind of the style that you would see like in the notebook. I've had a lot of you guys ask for notebook-ish styles, so uh, hopefully you guys like it and let's get started. Okay, so you're going to start section by section, and I am actually growing out baby bangs. So I'm just going to do my bangs as one section, and I'm mostly just kind of curling them away from my face just to get them out of the way. So I don't want to put a ton of curl in them because as you can see they're really short, so if I put a lot of curl in them they're going to look really weird. So I'm just going to take my flat iron and I'm just going to curl them away from my face. And they don't have to be curled curled, you just kind of want to give them that suggestion of going back so that you can kind of hide them. And if you want, you can give them a little pin curl like that. Um, if you want to add some curl into there, I'm going to do it just in case with my final look. Um, just in case a little curl fits into the final look better. So to curl your hair with a flat iron, you're going to start with mm, about this much hair. So I'd say about a two inch section or an inch and a half section. I'm doing bigger sections because my hair is really thick and it's going to take forever if I do smaller sections. But if you want tighter curls, do smaller sections. And if you want looser curls, do bigger sections. So I'm going to spray with some uh, thermal protectant spray. This will help protect your hair from the heat. And this is just hot off the press by Paul Mitchell. Okay, so you're going to start with your curls and just clamp on near the root and then you're going to twist the rest of the hair around the back of the, the flat iron. Then you're going to take the flat iron and you're going to give it a 180 degree twist. And then as you clamp, you're going to pull that hair through the iron and make sure to get it all the way to the end. And then it's going to give you this cute little boiny curl. And then just roll the curl all the way to the root. And when I roll and pin, I pin the curl back and away from the face so that when you brush it all out, all of the curls are going to be going in towards your face. Because if you flip it the other way, all of your curls are going to be going outwards. So it's going to be more of like a 70s Farrah Fawcett curl instead of a nice pretty vintage curl. So you're just going to do the same thing on the front of your hair. You want all your sections to be relatively the same size so you're getting a uniform curl. And the cool thing about doing curls with a flat iron versus a curling iron, especially if you have really layered hair, is that it's going to grab all of those layers. So you don't have to worry when you're using a curling iron to get the ends all the way through the clamp. You don't have to worry about the kinked edges. As long as you pull the flat iron all the way through the end of your hair, it's going to get all of the ends that are there. Storm and damn. And the key is to do this really slowly also because you really want the, the heat to be able to concentrate through the hair as you're moving it down. Because when it's curled into a curling iron, it's just sitting there getting heated. But when you're doing it with a flat iron, the flat iron is moving through the hair. So you just don't want to move it too fast. So now you've got your first row of curls. Now when you get to this side, you just want to make sure that you're moving the curling iron in the opposite direction because it's on the other side of your head. So you just want to make sure that you're still rolling the iron downwards. Cut the fields are just like home. 
and then roll it up, pin it away from your face, and there you go. Now you're just going to do your whole head the same exact way. Okay, so give it enough time to cool all the way, and when it's cool, you're just going to go through and take out all of those pin curl clips. Now be really careful when you're taking them out not to pull on the hair, and also make sure when you take them out that all of the curls are falling in the same direction. Okay, so when it's all unpinned, you're just going to run your fingers through the hair to kind of loosen the curls and get them to set together. So I'm not going to actually use this curl. I'm just going to take this side, and right at my temple is where I'm going to part it. And then I'm going to give it a little spray to get all the hair to lay in the same direction. Then I'm going to take my smoothing brush, and I'm just going to smooth all of the hair together. Now if you have bangs like I do, just try to smooth it so it looks like one solid piece. If you have some pieces of your bangs that stick out, you can give them a little twist and that'll help. And you're going to twist all of the hair. And if you need more hairspray to help keep those bangs in place, you can definitely use it. It's, this is always a little bit trickier when you have bangs because it's the, the game of trying to hide them. So once you kind of have the bangs set in there, you're going to twist the hair and then you're going to push it forward a little bit. Then you're going to take your little hair comb and you're just going to stick it back in there and it'll, it'll also push the hair a little bit forward, which is good because you want that volume. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And I have these little bangs on the other side too, so I'm going to do the same thing with the hairspray just to kind of smooth them down and back into the hair. And then give it a little twist and a little push. And then stick that comb in there. And now you're just going to kind of run your fingers through these curls to get them all to lay together. <laughs> get that one down there for sure. Now if you want to take a brush through them to make them even more uniform, you can definitely do that. Just be really careful um, that you're not brushing the curl out of the hair. And also be really careful if you're doing this with a brush that you're not pulling on the top of the hair because you're just going to pull those combs right out of the hair. So just brush it until it lays the way that you want it to lay. And there you have it. Super easy um, 1940s loose curls using my super sweet new me flat iron. Now that my hair is a little bit shorter, it's easier for me to do these vintage styles. So hopefully once my bangs grow out, I can start doing more styles for you guys. Again, this style was super easy. All it really takes is patience to um, have the time to curl your hair. So hopefully you guys like this. Uh, let me know what you think. And I will see you guys on the next one.